Hey everybody, welcome to Post Popcorn Picks where we talk everything movies and film. I'm Braden, and today we're going to be talking about some Netflix originals. So, while most of the time we talk about films that come out in theaters first, and while theaters can end up being expensive to go watch every week, we figured we'd highlight some uh, of the new Netflix originals that have came out. So, Steven is not here to film today, it's just going to be me. So we're going to start with one that I really liked called Polar. Uh, Polar is about an assassin who is about to retire and when you turn 50 that is when you get out of it and you can retire but the company he works for does not necessarily have enough money to pay him because you don't get your full payment until you're 50 um, and they end up trying to go after him so there's a lot of characters that are introduced and you're not exactly sure who's on what side throughout the entire film uh, without spoiling it the ending is very good though it's an action-packed movie the entire time so I'd highly recommend going and watching that. Um, it is rated R, there's a lot of violence, nudity, language, all of that stuff. So if you're not into violent movies, then it might not be the best. But if you like action movies, then I'd go check it out. The uh, lead actor is uh, Mads Milkson, and uh, he plays uh, Duncan. And uh, there's a lot of other actors. It's not necessarily all mainstream actors, um, but there is some in the list that you might recognize. Um, Another, that's a good one to go check out. Another one that I watched, but I would not necessarily, I'd, I'd give Polar like a 4.5 out of 5 on the scale. I thought it was very good, a uh, good story, and uh, just well filmed. But then one I watched was called Io, and Io is one that I thought was going to be very promising because I love stuff about space, but it ended up, I'd give it like a 2.5. The ending was not exactly what I wanted. Throughout the movie, it ended up being a very um, emotional and like it made you think a lot about what was going on because it's about this girl who is on Earth and uh, the atmosphere ends up getting taken over by carbon dioxide and it's unbreathable and it causes these storms to uh, start in lower land like cities. So she lives up on a hill in an observatory, but because uh, she can't go into the city unless she has oxygen, she ends up staying there most of the time. But everybody ended up uh, migrating off of Earth to the moon Io, which um, they are going to stop sending ships to Io. So she's going to try to catch the last ship, but she really doesn't want to leave. So you'll find out exactly why she doesn't want to leave and who comes into the story to try to get her to go to the Io. Um, I give that one like a 2.5. It's worth watching at least once, but it's kind of a slower movie. It's more of like a relax with friends kind of movie, not like a action-packed, gotta watch the whole thing. Uh, the next one is uh, Triple Frontier. It just came out a few days ago. I have not seen it yet, but I have been told it is a very good movie to watch. It's kind of like a Lone Survivor in the sense of uh, very suspenseful and a group of soldiers trying to, in this case, it's uh, trying to pull off a heist instead of, you know, trying to get out, a like, get out alive, last sniper kind of thing. But uh, I definitely recommend going watch that. I'm going to go watch that one tonight probably. And uh, finally is one called uh, Velvet Buzzsaw, which is a movie, it's a really artistic movie. It's based on uh, this girl who ends up finding some paintings in an uh, old closet and she takes them out and she loves how they look. Um, so she ends up publishing them into an art gallery. But there's something demonic with the paintings and they like follow and change as you look at them. Um, and they end up making people go insane or kill themselves or get into scenarios that they might not have. And uh, they use a lot of vocabulary that is dealing with art galleries and art and paintings and just all of that general knowledge that a lot of people might not get if they've never been to art galleries or never dealt with art. And uh, that was one thing that I didn't know some of the vocabulary. And same with my uh, sister and brother-in-law, I watched it with them and it just kind of gives a little bit of gap between what you understand and what you don't. So those are a few of uh, the latest Netflix originals that I thought were worth watching or at least looking into. Um, the Dawn Wall is a new one that just came out. It's not a Netflix original, but that's a really good one if you're into climbing. They just released a ton of new uh, Netflix, like movies on Netflix that are older. Uh, so I'd recommend just going and watching some of the older movies. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, you can leave a like and subscribe down below. You can follow us on social media at the Piala Post, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and uh, hopefully you have a good spring break. We'll be back 
for spring quarter. So I'll talk to you guys then.